Facts First presents This guy was watching his parents' wedding video from 1953, and he noticed a startling detail. Before we see this guy's parents' wedding video, how about you click the like button on this video? Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. This is a photo of Joe and Beverly Smith on their wedding day. They were married back when cars really had character and got about three miles to the gallon. This was a much simpler time. The car was a 1948 Plymouth Convertible. This was a car and even a time that kids these days just don't really know anything about. Before Joe and Beverly's son Joel was born, they purchased a 1948 convertible brand new. Their son actually remembers his parents talking about the car quite often. It's likely because they spent all of their savings in order to buy the car. Back then, it was not considered an antique, but it was still a very special car. Since the pictures taken back then were black and white, it was kind of hard to get a good idea of just how gorgeous this car truly was. Fortunately, the photo does give you an idea of how sharp the 48 Plymouth really was. It actually got about three miles to the gallon, or as my dad would joke, three gallons to the mile, and it had an oversized back seat. When the Korean War started in 1950, people were pretty surprised about it at first. It was then that he was drafted. Joseph, his bride, and his whole family were taken by surprise when he was forced to go into the army. The family had hoped that the North Koreans would turn left into the Sea of Japan and invade South Korea. That would have avoided America's part in the war. Unfortunately, we were not that lucky. After Joe was deployed, Beverly was left at home to wait for her husband's safe return. Unfortunately, she was short on money, so sadly, she was forced to sell that beautiful car. She had no true reason to hold on to the expensive car. She was struggling for money. She was trying to live on her own. But while Joe was fighting in the war, he really wasn't thinking much about his car back home. He was more focused on the massive Soviet tanks and the U.S. tanks that he saw each day. Thoughts of home were about his wife and kids. Fortunately, Joe did make it home safely when the war was over. Now, many decades later, the Joneses are celebrating their golden years and recently celebrated their 60th wedding anniversary. On the day of the anniversary's celebration, a friend of theirs surprised them with some video footage of their wedding day. Nobody knew why this friend had taken so long to show them the footage. What made the couple smile the most was when they saw their 1948 Plymouth featured in the footage. It brought smiles to Joe's and Beverly's faces immediately. At the same time, this guy was watching his parents' wedding video from 1953, and he noticed a startling detail, and it gave him an idea. When their son Joel saw how happy seeing the car made his parents, he decided he had to do something. They gave him such great love and care while he was growing up, he decided to repay the debt. Joel knew that he would never be able to find their original car. By this time, it was likely buried at the bottom of a scrapyard. Instead, he went on Craigslist to search for a replica 1948 Plymouth that was in working condition. After weeks of looking and failing, he was about to give up. Finally, he heard back from an elderly man in Indiana, and he had a 1948 Plymouth. After getting the car home, he took it back to a mechanic to make sure that it was in fine working order. When he gave the car to his parents, they couldn't believe their eyes. His father got behind the wheel and all the memories started flooding back. Today, Joe and Beverly's favorite pastime is getting in that car and taking it for long drives. What Joel did for his parents is one of the sweetest and kindest things a son can do. Joel says that seeing the look on his parents' face was thanks enough. Subscribe for more!